All right, Patricia Tipton. Judy lost her first match to Anna Tulan. Trisha's name on it. I mean, I know it's on here because she's playing. All right, Judy's break. Get this match underway. Maybe she got a bye first round. Patricia tipped and lost her first match to April Larson. April plays good. Yes, she does. April is one of the young phenoms that is here playing. She has won BEF, uh, according to our uh, BCAPL referee. Um, it was four years in a row. She was, last year was the um, Atlantic team um, MVP. Oh, no. Well, she's left this uh, kind of tough to. She's kind of she has to go a minimum of two rails to get to it, unless she can, can see, see the edge of there, it. See through the edge of it through there. So we're playing ten ball here. Yes, we are. CSI rules ten ball. CSI rules ten ball. This is race seven, both sides. And you are watching a B side match. Yes, it is. Looks to me like she's aiming too deep for this. So yeah, the the ten ball, you know, CSI ten ball rules are a little bit different than uh, than that ten ball tournament that was just on this last weekend. The the uh, Ginky. the Ginky Memorial tournament. In that tournament, you have to call you have to call safes as well as calling your pocket. So if you accidentally end up safe uh, without calling a safe first, they can make you shoot again. But that is not the case with CSI rules. Only if you uh, slap a ball in without making the ball that you called, that's the only time they can pass it back to you. But if they call a ball in the pocket and they don't make it and you end up safe, uh, you got to shoot. So Patricia has ball in hand. Looks like she's looking at, uh, actually I thought she was going to try to three, three rail the one ball out of there and leave the cue ball, but she just called the one in the corner. Oh, that was a nice breakout. Just too bad that one didn't go. So the next ball is the two ball, and that's out there next to the four ball out there in the middle of the table. So she's got a long shot on this two. Try to draw to the rail between the three and the seven. Hmm. All right, Patricia has a shot two in the side. I think she can. She probably w she could either roll this in for a little bit longer shot on the three, or she might be able to come down to this bottom rail and then back up towards the center if she has too yeah. much angle to just hold it there, which she might. I can tell you, Patricia is not one to roll a ball in. I've watched Patricia play for a few oh. years, uh, oh, several she years. She might be uh, kicking at this uh, two ten combination here. Yeah, and it, it has to go off the rail. I don't think it can go straight at it. It's got to pass the nine. But I've been watching Patricia play for several, many, few years, several, whatever, in the uh, Western BCA, and she is not one to roll a ball. 
she has a very nice stroke she has a great eye and comes with shots that you don't expect people to be playing safe like that yeah hmm. yeah and i think you might see uh because patricia is a uh, pretty much a, a nine ball player you may see her just shoot the six into the ten here not even really look at the rest of the table. She's just going to pocket this 10 so that she doesn't give up ball in hand on that 2 because she can shoot the 210. Yeah, I'd be shooting this 610 combo right in. Looks she's like she's looking at kicking she's the 2 though. safe, so she's looking at it. And she she is a, you know, she's a solid player. Uh, Frank, this is the last match. Uh, match. Last matches are being called at 6 o'clock every night until the finals. It'll play when it's played. Um, the women are, for the most part, believe it or not, Rick, is um, running on time. Nice hit, very Good nice, hit. but Good she's hit. left the 210 straight but she in. Left, she left the 210 anyway. Yep. I know. Yeah, I know she is a risk taker. I've been watching her play for a long time. I know how she plays. <laughs> All right, Judy's lining up this 10 ball. All right, I'm going to either go get Lou for you or I'm going to sit Suzanne down with you. How about that? Suzanne said she wanted to she wanted to help, but she just walked away. She said oh, she's out taking pictures, too. Oh, go, uh, go chase her down. I'll, I'll go down, either chase down her or Lou. And not, you know, I don't want Lou to be bored, so I'll send him over. Well, if he's uh, taking pictures, he's probably not bored. Yeah, well, I'll go find out. Okay. All right. Um, I'll, somebody will be back. And I'll be here. All right. I got a mark to score. That was that was Judy. Thank you guys for joining us. I want to thank Breaker Sky Lounge for hosting this tournament. It's a beautiful place. Lots of beautiful nine foot gold crowns. Nice uh, club area. It's starting to get a little bit louder in here, so you might be able to hear that in the background. Got the, got the DJ in, cranking up the music. We have a smoking and non smoking smoking section. Full bar, food, come on down, it's a nice place. All right, what do we have, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, ten. Nothing on the break. I don't think that went the way she envisioned that in her mind. Jeff Leonard's. Hey, how you doing? All right, looks like she's jumped. Okay. I thought she had to jump cue in her hand. I thought she was going to jump that. All right, well, she's not. Not left an easy shot on this two, but it looks like the two does go by the seven. So, yeah, I think cut on the two. Key ball is probably going to run into the eight. As long as it hits the correct side of the eight, it'll come back up and help out for position on the three. All right, so what Judy could do here. She could kick to the rail, kick the, try to kick the two up table, try to leave this cue ball behind this 10-4-9 uh, cluster of balls. She's called the two cross sides and try to kick this in. 
good hit on the two. And is she going to leave it safe? Mm, not really, no. I don't think she's going to try this uh, 2 10 combination. I think she's going to try to shoot the, ten, the two past it. Oh, I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm being joined by uh, Lou. How you doing, Lou? I'm doing well. Hello, everyone. Uh, yes, yes, you will, Jeff Leonard. Yeah, Chrome uh, browser. Yeah, the. Firefox browser just isn't, doesn't play well with the chat room. Keeps on scrolling back up to the top. It's All right, looks like, uh, is that going to get down there? Close. She can see the edge of it. There's no, I don't, I don't think she can see enough of the two to, to shoot a 210. So I think all she has is a thin off the two, sending the two towards the four ball. Cue ball back up table past the 5 8. Oh, she doesn't want that. Uh, she doesn't want that 10 ball to line up. Oh. She's let the chance for the 2 tank combination. She has. Even if that 5 is partially blocking, that's pretty makeable uh, jump shot. She's looking, so that 5 might be partially blocking her. She's not looking too happy. I think uh, I think that five might be in the way a little bit. She might. Uh, she's called a cross bank, I believe. Okay, so the five is blocking. She's uh, uh, calling the two ball cross corner. <laughs> oh no! Uh, no Microsoft browser either. Yeah, that just recently uh, started acting up. It wasn't like that uh, the last time we did a live stream, so yeah, Google are always making changes to, to YouTube. All right, I think you might see her trying to kick at this 210 combination. Nope, she's cutting the two in. I believe Julie can see a slice of the two. I didn't know she could. S I, I, I didn't know she could see any of it. Nice shot. Get out of that. Get out of that side. Actually, I think she's okay. I think that she is okay. That was a nice shot. Even on the correct side of the three to come over for the four. Oh no. And your options just roll this three in and shoot the four down in this other corner. Like so, that's good. Hey, it's starting to get kind of loud in here. P place is starting to uh, come, come alive. Yes, happy hour. Happy hour. Everybody happy. Uh, she's left this really nice for Judy here. Christmas came early. Yeah, she'll, she'll want to get the skew ball close to the rail so she can shoot the six and then draw back for the for the seven in the same pocket. Would you go forward or drop back on this shot? Well, from where she is now, because she's so far away, it might be easier just to roll forward, but I'd rather draw back. But it's, you know, being a little bit farther away is makes that pocket shrink up. So we'll, we'll see. Yeah, she's just going forward. That makes, makes this shot a little bit easier. And she'll go forward. 
So, I mean, yeah, you could uh, just roll the ball and let the cue ball roll into the eight ball, which I think she might be doing that. Or you can, you can shoot it with just a little bit of drum just to drift out for the eight on the side. And I think she's going to try to, I think she's going to try to play for the eight on the side. And that was what she was attempting. She just hit that poorly. Yeah, it's hard to, you know, when you're bridging out of the pocket like that. So I don't know if she, I think, go she can, uh, I think she can shoot this soft and hold it up. Oh. No, she's trying to go up and down table. Yeah, Christmas came early again for Julie. Judy. Yeah, this is Judy. She's going to come up. Uh, looks like she's coming up one rail towards towards the eight. Come up a little bit short. She would have liked to have gone a little bit farther. She need to draw over towards that left side pocket for the eight in the bottom right. Oh, and she's scratched. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. There should be a pretty routine three ball run out here. Yeah, she'll... Uh, I think I'd want to uh, put the cue ball up close to that top uh, end rail up there and just drag the uh, cue ball down this uh, right side rail for the 9 in the bottom left corner. 9 and the 10 both in the bottom left corner. If it was if it was me shooting this, she could also just thin off the left side of the eight and come straight down one rail for the for the same pocket, and that's what she's doing. And this is fine, good shot. Would you go to the rail, or just stun to? Yeah, you have to go to the rail here. So yeah. uh, you could either just follow it one rail. Uh, she'll probably come two rails around the corner. Oh, she's under hit this. No, oh, and she's missed it. Oh, that is unfortunate. Judy at a table. Here, I gotta turn down our mics a little bit. Oh, she's uh, under hit this, but I think she's okay. Yeah, so we're just gonna have to speak up a little bit louder over the house music. We're having a lot of fun here, folks. It is having a day of pool playing. I didn't see where she called the 10. Is she uh, okay in the corner? Okay. Nice. I wasn't sure if she was going for the corner or if she was trying to bank it. All right, that was a good shot. So the that puts Judy up to the nothing. And that's going to be Judy's rack and break. We are doing alternate break. We are doing alternate break. Rack your own. Race to seven on both sides. Winner side and loser side. Sorry, A side and B side. This is the last streamed match of the day. Actually, the six o'clock round is the last round of the day. So all the matches that started at six, these are the last matches of the day. We'll be back for more matches tomorrow starting at 10 a.m. So, Judy's break. All right, she's hit him solid. Does she make a ball? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, she has not made a ball. It looks like the one does go by the nine in the corner. Looks to me like it goes by. So she can shoot and stop for the one, the two in the upper corner, three in the other corner, four down in the bottom right corner. Five is on the rail but shouldn't be a problem and the six seven are both in the corners 
So Patricia does have a nice opportunity here. Nice shot. She had a small pocket to work with and speared it. Nice shot. Yeah, just to the right well. Just to the rail and back out towards the center. All right, this is good. She's has a little bit of a thin cut, but that's okay. She can just a hair of right, just a hair of right English, going two rails back and forth towards the center of the table. Yeah. She needed a need a little bit more right English there, but, but she's okay. She has a shot on the four, and she just follows to the end rail and back up towards towards the center. She should be okay. Is she gonna leave a shot for Patricia? I mean for Judy? I don't know. She can see it. I don't know if she can see enough of it to make it. I think yeah. she's going for it. I think she is. I think she can see enough to make it. Oh, she's overhit. She's overcut. Well, she that. may have been just playing safe the whole time. Ah. She may have just been trying to bank the four to this end rail. She's got us all full. <laughs> right. <laughs> so she has not left anything anything too juicy for Patricia. No, th from that distance trying to play safe behind the nine is is, is kind of tough. She may just try to I don't know, maybe just thin off the well, not maybe thin off, but Bank the four towards the eight ball, leaving the cue ball on that right side rail, trying to get the ten ball between the four ball and the cue ball. That's one option. So Patricia's still not sure yet. I'm not sure either. Um, you know, you'd like to get that cue ball behind the nine, but from this distance, that looks not too easy. So probably just splitting the four ball and cue ball with the ten ball is probably going to be the best option here. Or even thinning the four to, towards that corner pocket, bringing the cue ball around three rails. Ah, this works too. Leaving lots of distance, cue ball on the rail. All right, that's not bad. Judy's turn. Judy's turn. So I think she's just playing safe. Yep, she's trying to get uh, trying to hide with the ten ball. She needs that's a rail. Good. She got the rail. Oh. So that's that's good speed. That was a good shot. Very nice. So. Uh, she could come. She could come to this bottom rail to try to hit that four, or go up table and back down towards the four. She comes to this bottom rail. She might have a chance to make the seven in the side. I think she just called the four in this bottom right corner. So I think she's going kicking up table towards the up, to up and down table towards the four. That's what she's doing, and she did call the four in the corner. What a shot this would be. Uh, no hit. Thought maybe she might get lucky and get it on the second time around. So just bounce off the rail, leave it uh, fairly straight on the five. You first got to get past the seven, but this is perfect. Just, and just pop it off the rail for the six and seven. When she plays position from the six to the seven, she wants to make sure that she leaves the cue ball on this half of the table so that when she makes the seven on the side, the cue ball is going up table so she can come around. So she can come around two rails up table towards the eight is the way I would play it. You're too so many balls ahead of me, Kevin. Yeah, I'd want to roll forward a little bit. See, I don't I don't like being on that half of the table for the seven ball because uh, the cue ball is going to be coming down 
this way, and you gotta try to avoid coming around that. You gotta come around the 10, where, you know, come two rails around the 10, you could be coming towards that side pocket. Unless she can draw straight back. She might, she might be able to just draw straight back and not have to go around the 10 ball at all. And that's what she's doing. Okay, okay, she had more ammo. She was able to draw way up that way, so. So she had more, she had more of that uh, angle than I thought. She was much closer to straight end than I thought. I thought she had to come this way with the cue ball. Yeah, she just left herself a long shot on the eight. Yep, a long shot, but the good news is if she just makes the eight, as long as she doesn't get hooked behind the 10, she should have a shot on the nine. And and that was that's a nice shot. Very nice. Nice shot. And this, I think you can just roll in, roll into the corner fairly soft for the 10 in the same pocket, I think. Or is that too thin of a cut? These angles are deceiving on the camera. Yes, they it look is. way they look way different on camera than they do in person. But I think she can just slow roll this in and shoot the ten in the same pocket. No. Well, she ended up okay. She's it's not straight into the corner, but it's definitely makeable. Oh, she's fine here. Quite settled in. Really concentrating on this shot. And center of the hole. Nice shot. Very nice. Nice shot, Judy. Judy extends her lead. Three to nothing. This is going to be Patricia's break. Her rack and break. To Renee, I understand that my comments can sometimes come off as negative, and I, I agree with you that I, I try not to be negative. Uh, if I'm, if I'm coming across as negative, I apologize. I always try to be constructive, and if I'm coming across as negative, I apologize to the to the players and to, to everybody else. Back to the game, Patricia. Back, back to the game. So 10 ball is very difficult to break. It's a lot harder to make a ball on 10 ball than it is 9 ball. Yeah. 9 ball, a uh, ball on the break is almost automatic. Either the corner ball, into, either the wing ball into the corner pocket or the one ball into the side. Especially if you're using the magic rack. Especially with the magic rack because it's a very consistent rack. It's the same every time, so you can really uh, you can really fine tune your break. You can you can move over uh, you know a half inch at a time and keep retrying, and you'll because it racks so consistently from one game to the next, you'll get repeatable results. And once you find the magic spot on the table, you can make that ball almost every time. So that's the two ball up there in the towards the middle of the table. She's called the two up in that upper right corner. Tough shot, tough shot. And get that get that cue ball out of there. No, just hanging on by by its fingernails. And she does have a shot on the three. She can see the whole ball. So the skew ball is probably going to end up down here on this end rail. So I don't know if she can shoot the four. Okay, she didn't come across far enough for the four seven. I'm, although I'm not sure if the four seven was makeable anyway. Uh, I don't think she can see enough. I don't think she can see enough of the four to make it in the side. She might be able to 
shoot the four and get the cue ball behind the six for a safety. She might be able to do that. Okay, she got a good hit. And cue ball up table. She's left distance. Unfortunately, she may have left this 4-10 uh, combination. So, Kevin, would you go for the 4 10 combination here if you were Patricia? Uh, that really depends how it's lined up. It looks like it's not quite lined up. And I'd probably, I don't know, I like to go for these combinations, so myself, I probably would. Is that the right shot? I don't know. She's going for oh, it. And she's she, made it. If yeah. she, well, put it this way if you make it, it's the right shot, that's for <laughs> sure. I, I do know that. Nice that, shot, Patricia. I saw the big smile on her face. Yeah, <laughs> Patricia's on the scoreboard. Good shot. Uh, we have a lot of uh, talented ladies in the house playing 10 ball. Very talented players. Patricia's on the scoreboard. Yeah, those are the, the two hardest games to win, the first one and the last one. So she's got she got half of it down. She's got the first one uh, under her belt. It's going to be Judy's break. Judy's been hitting them pretty solid. Let's see if that continues. Oh, miscue. Did she hit the one first? I, I think she did hit the one first. I think she hit the one first. I definitely heard the miscue. Yeah, let's watch that. So I'm looking at the replay. It looked like it was the one. I think she hit the one first. Yeah. No, I, I think she hit the six first. Oh, you do? I, I just watched the replay and I thought she hit the one first. <laughs> uh, I think. Well, the, either way. Uh, they decided she, to proceed with the match. Yeah, uh, Patricia took ball in hand. You know, Judy, Judy told her to take ball in hand. So the point is moot. So she has ball in hand on the one. This is the two ball in the bottom right corner. She's probably going to try to follow down to the end rail, which will give her angle on the two to come up for the three. Get there, cue ball. Get past that nine. Ooh, did she get there? Oh, I think she may have come up a little short. Can she see it? Uh, she might be going rail first here. Oh. Well, I, think, uh, I think maybe she was trying to bank across corner. I didn't see if she called it cross corner or not. But she's left left, a pretty, left, left a pretty <laughs> tough for Judy. Very tough. What would you do here, Kevin? One rail kick? I don't think she can even see the edge of it. I think she has to kick behind it. Yeah, that I'd, is tough. Yeah, I'd, I'd kick. I try to. I try to uh, kick not too hard at it. I try to get the two ball over like behind the six seven in that area with the hoping for a safety behind all those balls, but. Unfortunately, she hit the five first, so that's going to give Trish ball Patricia hand, ball yeah. hand, yes. And I think the two ball does go past the nine. Uh, the three ball. If the two does go past the nine, she can shoot the two in the corner and draw back into the eight ball for position on the three. And I think that is... Well, she is shooting the two. Pa she is shooting the two in the corner. And she's going to draw back for position on the three. I'm assuming. Did she brush the uh, nine? Is that what happened there? I think she's missed the two. I couldn't tell if maybe the two ball just brushed the nine or not. 
And I think I think Judy I I couldn't tell if she could see enough of the two to make it or not. And it is getting loud in here. They're having a good they're having a good time over there on the on the where the DJ is dance floor area. At least, at least it sounds like they are. All right, she's called the four ball on the side. She's gonna play this combination. Definitely a makeable combination. Just have to be careful where that two ball is going, and where the cue ball is going, so she can come back up for a shot on the two after. That's really key here is trying to get a get a shot on the two after making this combination. Nice shot. And she cutting this in she was trying oh, to cut yeah, she was trying to cut it aside and she's missed it completely. Yeah, she uh she had to hit that very, very thin to make it and just missed it. So here, just I just roll forward past the seven, so you can just shoot and stop the five for the six in the other side. So she may have to a shoot and stop may not be may not be ideal. She'll probably want to draw back a couple inches so she's straight in on the six in the side. And she's done that. Actually, she's gone just a couple inches too far, but this is okay. She can. She can probably hold the cue ball up. I think she can hold the cue ball up for the seven on the side. She may have to go to the end rail and back between the ten and eight and back out. She may even choose to uh, bank the six cross side. No, she's called it straight in, not, a, not banking it. And I think she's going to go to the end rail and back for the seven. She got there. She got on the seven. Just, just caught the point with the uh, with the six ball though. So gives Patricia a good chance. She's got a makeable shot on the six. I think she's going to need to draw to the side rail and back out for the seven in the corner, or follow to the end. That works too. I think the 8 does go by the 10, so I think she can follow with a little bit of left spin down to the end. Oh, she's hit that nice. She's ma she made that look easy. Yeah, that was that was a tough shot. She got nice on that 8. She hit that really nice. I uh, never make shots nice like that. Can you tell if that 9 goes by the 10? Yes, it does. Uh, does the 9 go by the 10? Uh, well, don't stand up. Sit down. <laughs> I sat down. Thank you. Uh, well, she's left a really difficult cut. Yeah, if she does cut this in the corner, I think she can bring the cue ball around the table, three rails around. You know, come around the table for the for the ten. Okay, she's gonna bank the nine cross side. That way, she can hold the cue ball there for the ten. Not an easy bank. But I think she's made it. She has made it. Nice shot. It's just too bad that uh, she couldn't hold that cue ball down there. She's got to let herself a bit of a thin cut on the 10. Would you cut this in, Kevin, or would you bank this one? You know, from, from looking at the camera, it looks like a pretty thin cut. Like, like it'd be better to bank it, but... Standing up a little bit and looking at the table, it looks like I would I would cut it in. It looks thinner on camera than it does in person, so I think I would cut it in, and she's going to cut it in also. Ah, 
rocked it to sleep, as Sherry would say. Nice shot, Patricia. All right, she closes the gap, trailing three games to two. And who's breaks up here? That's going to be Patricia's break. Nice shot on the ten. Nice, nice bank on the nine. Actually, she made a. Uh, actually, she made a nice run out there. She made a. She made a, a few nice shots. It's got to be good for her confidence. Absolutely. And then you get to uh, break, and hopefully, hopefully you can uh, keep it going. Hopefully, she can keep it going and tie it up. Yeah, Rick Jones, I, I wouldn't. You know, the the humidity in, in indoors is fine. You've got the air conditioner cranked, um, but I wouldn't know if the tables are faster. So I have not hit a ball on them, not since I've been here. Tables do look like they're playing a little slow to me, but yeah, what do I know? All right, Patricia's break. Oh no. All right, Judy comes to the table with ball in hand. Ball in hand on the one, the two balls on the end rail. Two to the three is going to be... Well, I know that the three goes past the five down in the corner, so she can come one rail up from the two towards the three. Three to the four to the five. That were, that's where it looks like it could be tricky. Oh, with the cue ball on the rail, two to the three could be a little tricky. I think she's going to have to uh, follow this and her position on the three on the side. And that's what she was playing for. Is she going to get lucky? Uh, I think... I think she did not get lucky. I think she left her a shot. So now, depending on how much angle she has, she can she can roll this in for the three in the corner, or she can hit a little bit harder for the three in the side. And I think she was coming down for the I think she was coming down for the corner. And I think she just overhit it, but yeah. I'm not sure. That's the spot you don't want to be. Yeah, you don't want to be you know halfway between there. She's called it in the side. It's got a thin cut. Nice shot. Slow down, slow down. <laughs> so she could bank this, but she's if she makes the bank, she's really not going to be rewarded with much of a shot on the five. She may just play safe here, just draw the cue ball in behind the ten ball, banging the four up table. She I think she called it corner pocket. I think she called it in the left side pocket. Oh. Yeah, so she could come across for the five up table. And she's left her safe. Nice little two-way shot there. looking at it to kick this uh, four ball into the side pocket. Yeah, so yeah, if you kick up table, yeah. That's what I'd be trying to do. I mean, I might make it one out of ten times, but that's that's what I'd be, uh, that's what I'd be attempting. Oh, just missed it. And she needed to, and she needed to hit it thin, so I mean, you have to, you have to aim to hit it thin, which makes it uh, makes it more likely that you're gonna miss the ball completely but that's the that's the chance you have to take if you're trying to if you're trying to make the ball on the side yes. all right so ball in hand even with ball in hand well, the five seven the five seven combination isn't terrible. I 
It's not that hard to make the five seven combination. The problem is after the, the problem is is you know, the five ball can end up on this end rail, and she's trying to land in between them, and she hit. She has landed between them. She's obviously she would have liked to have been a little bit straighter on the five. That's tough. Nice shot. Very nice shot. And perfect on the six. That was a really nice shot. Don't you dare miss that ball. Don't you dare miss oh. it. After, not after that five ball. All right. So here she can uh, follow two rails off the end rail for the, for the eight in that left side pocket. She could either just, you know, kind of bounce it out one rail or follow two rails. I'd probably follow it two rails. It looks like she's just going to bounce out one rail. That's fine. So looks like she's probably going to brush off the 10. And brushing off the 10 is okay. That's, that'll, that'll help, uh, that'll help uh, get in position on the 9 by doing so. Oh, she did not brush off the 10. Okay. Love herself, tough shot. Yeah, on the rail, that's that's tough. Uh, that one's not gonna go. You know, that's uh, that that six ball went. Uh, I thought that nine ball was gonna go too. So this, there's a couple of different ways you could play position off of this nine ball. She could. She can hit the nine kind of thin on the left side, coming down one rail towards that chalk on that left rail over there for position on the 10 in the bottom right corner. That's one way. The other way is rail first, going rail first, coming around three rails for the for position on the 10 in the bottom left corner. Um, I personally like the one rail straight down, but she's doing the, the rail first, which is nothing wrong with that. Just stay out of the side pocket, though. All right, good shot, good shot. Really, which uh, whichever the couple methods that you're more f more comfortable with. Just making sure she makes this, taking her time. Good shot. All right, puts Judy up four games to two, and it's going to be I think it's going to be Judy's break now. Yes, it is Judy's break. So how are you doing, Lou? You having a good time? Yes, I am. I chatted with a lot of players and yeah. learned a lot of things. Like uh, don't stand in front of me when I'm shooting? That or, or you learn good things? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. See, they're going to they're gonna accuse me of being negative again. Oh, uh, they, they might be talking about me. Who knows? <laughs> Could be. No. Um, so I know you're... Uh, Going around taking a lot of pictures. Have you uh, been reviewing your pictures yet? Have you uh, seen any good ones yet? I have a couple. I will show you later this All evening. Right, great. We'll, we'll be posting that on our Facebook. Uh, okay. For those who want to find us on Facebook, uh, Kevin, tell them about our Facebook page. Well, we are on Facebook at Railbridge Productions. You can find our Facebook page there. Uh, you can also uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're Railbridge TV on, uh, on YouTube. On YouTube, just go to Railbirds TV. If you're watching this video, you've already found us on YouTube, so uh, subscribe to us so you can be updated of all of our upcoming tournaments. You can also follow us on Facebook, too. You can be notified of all our upcoming tournaments there as well. Okay, back to the match. Back to the match. Uh, Judy has made a ball on the break. She has a shot on the one. I believe it's far enough down the rail where she doesn't have to worry about scratching inside. I think she can draw back to the two on the other side. And yes, That's she good. has done that. That's a nice shot. 
Very nice shot. See, we do say positive things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so because she came up just a hair short of straight in, uh, she can still she's still okay. She can roll forward and brush the three, or she can uh, she can come to the other side of the three for the three up table past the nine. She's she's under hit this a little bit if she was going down the the corner pocket. Yeah, come up a little bit short if she was uh, playing for the three in the corner. Okay, she just, it looked like she just called the three in the corner. So, yeah, she's going to try to cut this all the way down. Very tough shot. It's makeable. It is makeable. And she'll get natural position on the four. Yes, she will. Very tough shot. It looks like she has changed her mind. She's doing something else now. Okay. Changed her mind, decided to uh, play safe instead. I would have played safe there. I would not have tried to cut that three ball up the, up the rail like that. Well, she's left a thin cut on the three. She does have a thin cut here on the three if she wants to if she wants to go for it. Would you be playing safety here, Kevin? Uh, I think I'd be going for this three ball myself. Nice shot. And does that four go by the five? Can we tell if that four goes by the five? If the four goes by the five, uh, then it looks like she can come to the end rail and back up one rail. If it does not go by the five, I think she can just slow roll this and get the cue ball behind the five for a safety. All right, well, Judy does have a thin cut to the left of this bottom left corner if she wants to go for it. I, I would be playing safety here. But it's a makeable, makeable four come around for the... Oh, that's tough. Yeah, she's just playing safe. Good shot. She can see the edge of it. Maybe enough to bank it cross side. And she just called the four cross side. Okay. So she did uh, leave enough. So it looks like the looks like there could be a scratch in the side off the seven if she uh, got really unlucky. Yeah, that was a really tough shot. It was a good effort. Now if that four goes in the corner past the nine, and it looks like. It might go past the nine. If not, then she'll have to cut it in the side. I was just calling the side. Yeah, she's calling the side, but I guess it doesn't go in the corner. Is that karaoke? That is karaoke. Yes, it is. We're having a lot of fun <laughs> here. Friday night karaoke. Yeah, that's some karaoke we hear in the background. Would you be going? So if I, yeah, so if you have, table for yeah, if you have to, uh, if you have to cut this in the side, yeah, you got, I, you got to go up and down table, and that ten ball is is huge in the way for going up and down table. So she's got to try to, got to avoid this ten. Right. She's not left a straight in shot. She neck. The combination of the nine is a bit off angle. I don't think she's going to go for that. She may just thin off of the the right the right side on your screen, the right side of the four, just letting that four ball drift over towards that chalk on the left rail, and letting the cue ball just come down to this bottom rail, using the nine ball and six ball for blockers. She's calling the four in that bottom right corner pocket by the five. Is she cutting that in or is she banking it across? She's cutting. Wow, she overcut. She overcut that by a lot. Wow. That's a hard shot to overcut. Cause that, was, that was a really thin cut to begin with.
All right, nice shot on the four. She has a shot on the five. Long, long, thin cut. She can roll this in and try to hold it for the six, or she can hit a little bit harder and go up and down table. She chose option A. She was trying to hold it up and just let it get away a little bit. I think she's okay. Well, she has been making some uh, some nice shots. So she could make this six, come around uh, a couple rails for the nine. And she's just playing safe. Okay. Trying to get that six ball behind the nine. So, yeah, she could... Bit of a two-way shot here. Call the six cross side and while leaving the, trying to leave the cue ball behind the nine in case you missed the six. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought it was in. Just left a, left a chance for Judy. Got a chance. Tough shot, though. So, six in the upper right corner, some bottom left draw to the left side rail and back out. Whew. These are tough shots. I tend to scratch on shots like this. But then again, I'm just a really bad player. Scratch where in the corner? Onto the, the top, top right corner. Top left corner. Yeah. yeah. She hit that really nice. She has nice angle on the nine. I'll just go forward a little bit and take the. No, she she can go to the uh, she can go forward to the looks like she can go to the end rail and then back up for almost straight in and the ten up in the far corner. Oh. Um. But again, it looked like I think I was just missing the angle a little bit. Obviously, she had a little bit more angle than, than I thought. This, she will be able to shoot this with some some right some right hand uh, spin here to shoot the 10 up in that far corner. Slow down, cue ball. Slow down. Ah, perfect. Well, that was a chance for Judy to go 5-2. Five two. Now, now it's going to be four three. Big difference. It is. All right, nice shot, Patricia. All right, hanging, just hanging in there. Trails one game, four games to three. That's going to be her break. Kira, uh, Judy is uh, from Maryland. She plays at Triple Nine Bar and Billiards. Uh, I think that was the name of it. Okay. All right. Uh, she hit him good. Has not made a ball on the break. Judy has a nice shot on this one to get started with. Playing the, if she's playing the two in the side, she needs to make sure she gets uh, passed straight in so she has angle to come up for the three. Okay, she was playing. I think she was playing for the two in the corner. But I guess this. I guess the two goes by the five. On camera, it doesn't look like it goes by the five, but it must go in the 
uh, down in this corner because it looks like that's where she was playing a position for. Looks like she's just playing safe. No, she's left it open. She's left a shot for for Patricia. It's not a, not the easiest of shots, and but the 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 hardest part is getting from the two to the three because that seven ball is just gonna run all kinds of interference. I think she's she's happy to just to be at a table. I think her plan is uh, make the two and then just play safe on the three. I think is her plan there. I didn't see if she called anything yet. I don't know if she's gonna try to cut the three in the corner or just uh, play safe. You're shooting with the with the bridge. I That's think tough. you definitely gotta sh play safe. I don't think there's much future in trying to cut at that ball and shooting with the bridge. Funny snooker using back flipping burgers. All right. Um, yeah, for those of you who don't know, Earl Strickland forfeited out of the tournament at the Ginky Memorial. Um, all right. So Judy has a cross side bank on this three, which is not a very difficult bank, but trying to get position on the four from there, that's the tricky part. She could cut this in the upper left corner. She could cut it in the upper left corner and follow three rails. She's called it. That's a tough cut. To the upper left corner. She's made some tough. She's made some tough cuts. And she hit that. She just hit the three. Just a uh, just a uh, just a little too full. Had she hit the three to make it, the she would have been hitting the three thinner, which means that cue ball would have gone a lot, would have, would have come around the rails differently. It would, have, it would have come around for the rails probably for a pretty good position on the four. Looks like she's left an easy safety for Patricia. She pulled that on the side. She called on the side. Yeah, I'd, I'd be playing safe here. Sometimes players call. I think that was. For yeah, I think that was. Uh, I think that was just. I think that was a just in case uh, call. I think she was playing safe and calling the side just in case. Long, uh, almost straight in off the rail. Very tough shot, especially since she's gonna have to hit this with some speed to get back for the four. She was content to take a long shot on the four had she made the three. So these are these are kind of tough to play position off of when they're in the pocket like this. Slow down. Or hit it, hit it. All right, well, she does have a thin cut to the corner. Yeah, and she might be able ball. to use the eight. To yeah, she stop. might. She might be able to use that eight ball to slow down that cue ball. Oh. oh she I couldn't tell she was banking that or Like well, I say, you know, the angles are so different on camera than they are in, in life, so. Like 
Nice shot. Good position. Now I think she can, well, if she could reach it, I think she could either, I think she could follow three rails around the six back towards the center of the table for the six in the bottom right corner, or she could draw it with bottom right back up towards the center of the table. And, and she's choosing uh, that option. Yeah, those are, those are hard to do with the bridge. On fourth year from Judy. Patricia back, in, back to the table again. She's under hit this. All right, she's uh, called this bank cross corner. She's missed it by the law. All right, she has long shot in the six. She may just want to just roll this in and take a long, long shot on the seven up into the corner. That's what she's doing. As long, yeah, don't get behind the nine. And again, just a uh, softer shot here. Just take a thin cut on the eight. No, oh, she didn't have to uh, take a thin cut on the eight. She ends up perfect on the eight. Nice shot. That was a really nice shot from shooting from the rail up the length of the table like that. That was a tough shot. It was actually an easy shot. The, the camera made it look tough, Kevin. She got a hold of that one. Judy is looking at the top left corner. She is, yes. Double check. Mm. I also think she's a little bit worried. If she just shoots us with center follow, she's uh, worried about that side pocket uh, jumping up there and snatching the cue ball. All right, she's... Elevating a little bit so she can draw to the rail and back out. Taking those side pockets out of play. She called the other corner now. She changed her mind. No. Oh, oh, she side pocket. Yeah, she was elevating, but she she let up on the stroke and let the cue ball just slide and pick up some forward roll. Yeah, she just let up on her stroke on that one. So if Patricia can capitalize on this, she'll tie up the score, which is very big. Mm, that's a good shot. Ten in the corner. Nice shot, Patricia ties it up for a piece. We got action. And it's gonna be Judy's break. Okay, the players just announced that they are taking a break. All right, players are taking a break and I think I'm going to take a quick break also. I'm going to go refill my coffee cup, and I will be back in uh, just a minute. Guys, don't go anywhere. Uh, you guys know I, kn 
on the last three matches I put up uh, at the bottom of the screen. Next match starts at 6 p.m. or 4 p.m. or 2 p.m. The last three matches I've, I've left them up like for like three quarters of the way into the match. I always keep forgetting to take that down. One of these days I'll remember. are back. I think Judy asked the tournament director Chris if she was allowed to uh, practice while Patricia is on her break and he says sure. Alrighty, we are back in action. Their break was shorter than uh, I was expecting. So who broke it? That was Judy's break, right? Yes, it was. All right, and she's made the ball on the break. Has a nice shot on the one. Oh no. Oh, that's unfortunate. Now, Patricia is going to have ball in hand on the most difficult ball on the table to get position on, and she's going to have ball in hand on it. So that's a, that's a big help. So if she can, so that's, well, first of all, does that two go in the side? If it goes in the side, then yeah, I would play uh, with ball in hand, shoots two in the side, and drift out towards the center table for the three. But at I'm not sure if it actually if it's if it does or not from that angle. You know, on camera they all look like easy shots, but in person not always. All right, well there is room between the two and the nine, so she can shoot this in the corner and just drift over with the cue ball. Mm -hmm. 
That means that ball to bounce. Yeah, she'll, I think she's okay here. She's got a lot of angle. She has angle, but I think she'll be okay. She wants to get this cue ball back to the center of the table. Big bounce. Well, the good news is if she makes the four position on the six is almost automatic. As long as you don't get behind the seven, she should be okay. Now, would you go around the nine for the seven, Kevin, here? Uh, you mean like follow forward around the nine? Yeah. Uh, from this camera angle, I don't think so. I think, I think I would draw back towards the center of the table which is what she tried to do, and this is okay. It's a little bit of a longer shot than, than ideal, but I think she'll be okay. And she can just bounce off the rail and back out for the eight up in the corner, or, oh, don't scratch, get out of there. That's gonna leave a mark. This probably just follow the end rail, one rail, one rail off the end rail up towards the eight for the eight in the upper left corner. Looks like she's drawn back for the eight in the side. And that's fine too. And if it goes too far, she slows the eight in the corner. Uh, 50 yard line. But I'd still, I'd, I'd cut this in the side and go to the end rail and back, back up for the nine. Judy just called a side pocket. And all she really needs here is just center ball with maybe just a hair of left English. And that's what it looks like she's doing. Just center with just maybe just a hair of left for the nine in the other side. Nice shot. Slow down, slow down. Perfect. Yeah, here I'll just shoot, yeah, nine in the corner. And that's a nice shot. Taking her time, she wants to make this nine. Good shot. Nice shot. Shooting with the bridge, but I think she'll be okay. All right, nice shot, nice out by Judy. Retakes the lead, five games to four. Oh, they're just having way too much fun with that karaoke over there. <laughs> Are you going to go sing some karaoke, Lou? Yes, I am. Yes, in fact, after, after this <laughs> match, I you, will go. Do you got your song request in yet? Uh, what are you back, gonna, Backstreet what are you, Boys. What are you going to sing? Backstreet, Backstreet Boys? Boys yes. <laughs> Well, maybe we'll be live streaming that also. Uh, no, we wouldn't be. We're not allowed to do that. <laughs> Copyright issues with music and stuff. Um, there's a baby in the house. Okay, back to the match. Uh, back Patricia's to the match. break. Uh, race to seven. Yeah, we are playing race to seven. Trisha's break. Okay. Make anything? I don't think so. Nope, Judy's at the table. Can she see the one? I know she can see at least some of it. I don't know if she can see enough to shoot it in a corner. 
she can definitely see enough of it to bank it cross corner, but I think she's just shooting it straight in the corner. I think she can see enough of it. Oh yeah, she can see enough of it. And safe. just now going back and reading through some of the chat messages and uh, yes you people in the chat room are absolutely right uh, that is definitely against CSI rules there is absolutely no practicing uh, on the table uh, once the match has started that would be uh, illegal practicing even uh, even if you're uh, after the game is over and there's still some balls on the table if you used your your Q, if you use your cue stick to knock the balls up table, people would call that foul illegal practice. You know they're very strict on that, so you can't even uh, can't even knock the cue balls up table with your with your cue stick. People could call call that as being illegal practicing. So yes, that is definitely not allowed. I didn't see it, but even if I did see it, I'm not the tournament director, so it's not my place to call a foul. Back to the match at hand. A bridge head on your jump screen, jump cue. I have not tried that, but that sounds like a great idea. I'm gonna definitely try that next time I need to use a bridge, if it's uh, if I can reach it with uh, using the jump cue. That sounds like a great idea. All right, safety by Patricia. Left that uh, left that hanging for for Patricia, and all she has to do is roll forward with the four in the bottom right corner, like so. And she wanted to come a little bit farther down the rail so that the cue ball doesn't have to hit the seven to get position on the five. So she's got some work to do here. She might be able to shoot this with draw. Shoot the four in the corner with some draw where it will brush off the seven using the brushing off the seven to help it draw to the rail and then back across. So she's going forward with I think she's going I think she's gonna shoot it soft. Yeah, she uh, was she was hoping the cue ball would just stop right there where the seven was and she was just gonna take a long shot on the five. Did she snook her herself? But unfortunately she uh, snookered herself here behind the six ten. Doesn't even have an easy kick at it. She might, she might uh, pull out the jump cue on this one. All right, ball in hand for Judy. Five to the six is key, as well as eight to the nine. Those are uh, those are the two key shots here. So I think she can just draw back for the six in the side, and that's what she's doing. Good speed. Perfect. A little bit close to the rail, but that's okay. A little bit close to the rail. She's going to be forced to probably uh, roll forward into the nine. As long as she can roll forward into the nine without getting hooked behind the nine, then she'll be okay. Let's see how she does. Get out of the way, nine. Okay, she's okay. And that actually makes position from the eight to the nine probably a little bit easier. For some people, some people, it doesn't make a difference.
Ash just overhit this. Oh, she can still cut this in, just go back and forth. Yeah, she can. She can still cut this in, go back and forth. She can. Uh, I mean, myself, I'd probably want to. Sh probably shoot this with right English and come around three rails. She may just shoot some little bit of left and just go back and forth. It's really what you prefer. And she prefers a little bit of left back and forth. Just hit the edge just a little too full. Trisha back to the table looking yeah, at another chance to tie yeah, up the this score. Is a good chance here. Come straight down for the nines. Shoot and stop or shoot and draw it a little bit from the nine to the ten. A soft draw here. Yeah, she just needs to draw back six inches or so. She wanted to draw just a little bit more, but I think she'll be okay here. Oh, that was my fault. Sorry, Patricia. I'm the one that jinxed you there. That's all me. So you put your song request in for some Backstreet Boys already? They uh, got it all queued up for you? <laughs> well, you do what you have to do to... Oh, a safety. Safety. Smart girl. Oh, it's just oh, missed it by the mile. Well, it... it it acted like maybe a double kissed a little bit. I'm not sure. Well, I can tell you, Judy is just happy to be back on the table. Yeah, absolutely. Nice shot. Avoided to scratch in the other corner. Good shot. Good job. Judy on the hill. Judy is on the hill. So the next uh, the next North American Pool Tour uh, Women's Division One Pro event is going to be August 19th through 21st at Shooters Bar and Billiards in Grays Lake, Illinois. That will be 5,000 added on a full field. Top 24 women from this event get an automatic invitation to that one. If you're not one of the top 24 and you want to play, see your regional NAPT tour for qualifiers. All right, Judy's break. Judy's rack and break on the hill. It's always good to be on the hill and breaking. Sounded like she missed you. No, not that time. It was. Uh, she might. I think that. Uh, I think that break you has a. Maybe it might have a phenolic tip or something. Like something really hard that uh, makes makes a noise. And she just drew it a little bit more than more than she wanted. I think. She hit him fairly solid. Just didn't make a ball. Uh, she's left a chance for Patricia. Yeah. I don't know if the four goes past the five. Just playing safe, hiding the one ball behind uh, behind these balls. Oh, that would have been that would have been pretty nice if that one didn't leak out. I think she can just see the edge of it. She'll just uh, she'll just come off the edge of the one. 
banking the one back in behind that four, letting the cue ball come down table, like probably behind like the two ball, down in that direction. Oh, she did something different than what I was thinking. Still put a left, left a lot of distance between the two, and the one does not go by the five. So a lot of distance and no open pocket. And I think she just, uh, I think she's, I think she's playing the one-five combination. I think that's what she just called. And that will be Judy's option, whether she wants to accept uh, the shot on the two ball or make Patricia shoot again. And it looks like she is accepting. I would too. <laughs> nice. Oh. All right, is that two ball on the rail? Oh. No, she shot that a little fast. Well, these girls are just back maybe, and forth. Yeah, they, maybe, she, uh, maybe she took it for granted a little bit. <laughs> Adrian, she's probably over there singing karaoke. Don't get behind the five. Okay, good. Very nice. She fired that in. Now she just needs to one rail follow. Looks like she can go between the nine ten. Just get past. Just get past the ten. No, she didn't want to take any chances with that. She didn't want to take any chances. To get behind the ten, so she just slow rolled it in and decided to take a thin cut on the five yeah, instead. This is a very very thin cut. She's calling a bank. All right. And she's made it. Nice shot. Shape on the six. Good. She's got a fairly thin cut into the side pocket. Yeah, she might have to go back and forth with the cue ball with some... She go in, she go, can she go back and forth with inside, or is she going to have to come around? Boy, that's really hard to tell from this angle. She's looking at an angle to slow, slow roll the six into the side and take a cut on the seven to the opposite side pocket. Yeah, I think that's what she's doing. Oh no. Oh, no. So she could either shoot the uh, eight in the side or the corner, depending on which whichever she prefers. She prefers the side. So she'll roll this in for the nine. That's good. Soft draw this back out. Yeah, a little bit of bottom left for the 10 in the bottom left corner on the screen. If she doesn't like drawing with the bridge, she could also follow forward for the 10 in the side, but I'd rather draw it back. Very nice. Yes, very nice indeed. And I'm not going to say any anything until after she shoots. <laughs> It did not work, Kevin. That wasn't my fault. <laughs> I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Well, that's very unfortunate. All right, that is the match. Judy wins that seven to four. It's a tough fight. Unfortunately, that was a B-side match.
Patricia is now out of the tournament. Sorry, Patricia. Judy goes on. That was our last streamed match for tonight. We will be back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Eastern uh, U.S. time. We will see you all there. I'm Kevin Ross. We are Railbirds Productions, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Eastern time. See ya. <laughs>